partridges are stout, dumpy and hunched little game birds. Although occasionally mistaken for small grouse, partridges are birds of lowland habitats, typical of farmland, grassland and coastal areas, although confusingly red-legged partridge can rarely be found above the tree line. They're found almost invariably on the ground. Partridges can be seen singly, although more usually in pairs or small groups known as coveys. When disturbed, partridges prefer to run away, crouching low with their heads hunched and forward. When flushed, they do fly, but in panic, with strongly bowed wings and rapid wing beats, dropping back to the ground quickly. With so many similarities between the two species, how can we separate them? red leg partridge is the more common and widespread of the two. Some 80,000 territories are found throughout the country, but numbers are difficult to be sure about, as it is a non-native species introduced for shooting, and numbers are supplemented each autumn with literally millions of captive bred birds. The alternative name of French partridge gives a clue as to its original distribution in southwestern Europe. When seen well, red leg partridge is a handsome bird, with its eponymous short red legs hard to see, but it has soft grey-brown on the back, with bold black, white and red stripes on the flanks, and a striking white face with black eye stripe, red beak and eye ring, and a beautiful black necklace that spreads across the chest. In a very quick view, the most likely things you will notice will be the black bordered throat and the stripes on the side, and alongside this in flight views, when the birds are likely to be careering away from you with frantic whirring wings, you will see a plain dark grey rump with dark reddish brown tail feathers, which all have a similar tone, and so in poor light may appear one coloured. Red legs are fairly noisy birds, and for much of the year their characteristic calls can be heard, starting haltingly and building to a crescendo. Chuck, 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 chaka, chuck, chaka. Once they get going, their song has a distinctive rhythm, almost like a cantering horse, and singing birds can sometimes be seen sitting above ground on rocks or fence posts. Our native grey or English partridge is a scarcer bird. In fact, in Europe, it is one of the most rapidly declining species. Around 43,000 territories are still to be found in lowland areas, although their numbers are artificially swelled by around 100,000 captive reared individuals each year. Slightly smaller and less distinctly marked than red legs, a covey of partridges can be mistaken for clods of soil or even sugar beets as they sit out in the open and they're even more rounded and short necked. When seen close to, grey partridge are subtly beautiful birds with grey neck, chest and flanks, vermiculated wings and back and surprisingly orange face. Some females and all males have a striking dark brown horseshoe shaped mark on the belly, almost as if they have got a wet and muddy patch from crouching in the fields. On spotting you, grey partridges are likely to crouch or run away, but they are more inclined to take flight than red legs, with bursts of whirring wings and glides low to the ground. As they fly away, their patterned backs should be visible, but if not, their tails are a somewhat brighter reddish chestnut colour and are usually pretty obvious. Noisy when flushed, grey partridges give a continuous series of shrill, panicked trills as they fly away. Their usual territorial calls are much less frantic, a slow, hoarse kirik repeated a few times and well spaced. Care does need to be taken when identifying the plainer juveniles of both species, but it is worth remembering that it is highly unlikely you will see a juvenile partridge away from adults. The most likely confusion species for young partridge is young or tailless female pheasants, but these are sandy brown in colour with large spots on their chests and flanks and have a loud, harsh, clucking alarm call as they flush.